Let's start with the first stage of the innovation process, the so-called front end of innovation or FIE. In our big picture, we are really now in the first activities. And often the front end is also called the process stages before there actually is a project. So it's about recognizing in a company that we really have to start an innovation project. It's about recognizing trends and opportunities that may lead to an innovation project. So this is a rather large piece of the innovation process. It starts to identify innovation gaps in search fields. For this, we use technology intelligence and market intelligence as inputs. We derive our innovation strategy we have normally a commitment gate where we really say, well, what we saw at these um, first stages of analysis means we should start an innovation project. We generate ideas. We can do this by co-creation or internally. We have a gate to really say, okay, the ideas are thorough enough to come into a concept. And concept somehow is a stage and the result of the front end of innovation where we then go into the product development stages. So let's look, go a little bit more in detail. This is the traditional picture of the innovation process, illustrated like a funnel. A funnel? Well, a funnel meaning that at the beginning we have a lot of ideas and different alternatives. And while we progress in the process of an innovation project, these ideas and alternatives are being reduced that hopefully in the end we have this one big new product or new service. So we'll start with ideas, and ideas are in what we call the discovery stage transferred into concepts. Then these concepts are evaluated and one or two of the concepts that are most promising are realized into an invention. Invention meaning a new technical um, gestalt of what we want to achieve with a product or service. But you remember from other classes that an innovation is something that's not just novel, but also successfully implemented in the market and adopted by its users. So an invention needs to be nurtured either, and that's a traditional, conventional form, how we see an innovation project in new products or services we are which are launched um, into a market, but sometimes we also realize, oh gosh, we can't really um, benefit from this in our company, so we just created new knowledge, which may be sold to other companies or entities for further exploration. So across this innovation funnel, um, we have to look at another thing. What is starting this? Well, that's an opportunity. An opportunity, a gap somehow between an um, envisioned and a realized future. An opportunity that we see in a company that we really start a project. And these first acti activities of realizing an opportunity, generating ideas, and um, putting them together into an innovative concept is called the so-called front end of innovation, or F. EI. While the later stages from concepts, we are realization to the invention and then market launch is called the new product or service development process. So why is this, is this important to differentiate between these two sets of activities? Well, these front-end activities are less structured and less predictable. This is why they often in the literature are called fuzzy, the fuzzy front-end of innovation. We are not really sure what to do at this stage. While development activities can be structured by formalized and prescribed sets of activities. That's a typical idea of the stage gate process, that once we are in this process, we really can execute it um, with rigor and with more and more um, less risk. So, some important terms for this module. An opportunity, as I said before, is really a gap perceived by a business, and it could be either a market opportunity or technology opportunity, so a gap perceived between the current situation and an envisioned future in order to capture competitive advantage, to respond to a threat or to solve a problem. So opportunities can be pretty broad. We'll come back to this in a minute. 
Then second, we have ideas. Idea is the most embryonic form of a new product, process or service. Often it's a high level view of the solution and vision for the problem identified by the opportunity. And we very often think innovation is to generate ideas. Well, actually the real object of innovation is a concept. The concept is somehow a bundle of more elaborated ideas. It's a verbal or prototype statement of what is going to be changed and how users stand to gain. It normally has a well-defined form that includes the primary features, so meaning what are the benefits for the users once we would realize this concept, combined with a broad understanding of the technology needed. We'll also come back to these definitions in more detail a little bit later in this program. So, around the front end of innovation, there are four clusters of activities. And it starts with trend analysis to really first realize and understand the external environment of our business, to understand how our customers and market change, to understand what kind of technologies provide opportunities or also threat for our current state of the art. Out of analyzing these trends, we come to analyzing the opportunity, so to really thoroughly identifying gaps between a present stage and a vision future, as said before. And once we found there is an opportunity, well, we have to go and tap it. And for this, we have to generate idea and enrich them, and there are plenty of methods of innovation management, in particular for this set of activities. Finally, ideas are evaluated, bundled, and um, combined into a concept where we now may have a big decision point where at this stage now we decide should we progress in the innovation process and then end the front end of innovation and go over to the more formal development stages. And while this looks like a broad set of activities and there are already a lot to do, you always have to remember that the front end of innovation is rather cheap. The real cost of innovation comes into the later stages when what has been envisioned here is being executed. However, even if these activities are rather affordable to do in a company, they really are responsible for a lot of the later costs. And not just the cost, but also what we can achieve in an innovation project. So if we don't get these activities at the front end of innovation correctly, then the entire project may become a failure. So therefore, understanding the front end of innovation and the activities is of foremost importance for innovation success. And let's go a little bit more deeper into it, why the front end of innovation is different than the other innovation activities. And this is very much a black and white picture and the reality is a little bit more fuzzy, a little bit more gray in between, but just to compare the extremes. Once we are really in the formal product development stage and the engineers have taken over, we normally have a clearly defined project plan, clear goals and milestones, and we really know what to do um, at which point of time and when perhaps we achieved a um, mid-term objective. While it's a front end of innovation, on the other side, the work is much more experimental, more chaotic. We have this Eureka moment, moment. Sometimes, you know, we just were looking for nothing in particular, and then we'll see this opportunity and say, wow, gosh, we should really go for that. It can be scheduled, but it's often not really um, predictable what is happening here. In the development stage, we really work towards a clear deadline, a clear launch date in many industries. While it's a front end of innovation, it's really unpredictable um, when or if at any time um, at all these ideas may be realized. In the new product development stage, we have a clear development budget. If you know already a little bit of innovation, you may know that these budget um, goals are often not met, but at least we have one and we could calculate how much we need. However, for the front end of innovation, as we often even don't have a project, we don't have a budget. And so in some companies there are extra budgets to really perform these activities, but in other companies there is nothing. So a lot of these activities at the front ends are somehow financed, well, by just taking some resources from your operational processes. This is 
what we called bootlegging, meaning that activities are not properly defined, that they even are not commissioned in the hierarchy by the superiors, but they are just executed anyway, as there is someone in the organization real, realizing an opportunity and starting to collect ideas and generating concepts. So the expectation of revenues in the front end of innovation is very uncertain. We have an idea that this may be profitable. However, in the new product development stage, we have more increasing certainty the closer we come to the release date, meaning the more we have developed, as we really now can better evaluate what is it what we are able to achieve, how much will it cost to us, and how much will it contribute to realizing customer satisfaction um, or even excitement. The activities in the front end of innovation are often executed by either a motivated individual or small team. And the emphasis here is in areas to minimize risk. Well, this is how Peter Kern, by the way, one of the most prolific colleagues um, teaching at the Stevens Institute of Technology, who dedicated most of his academic life to really understanding better of the front end of innovation. So Peter, in this slide, and I stole it from him, he said, the activities are really to minimize risk. That's correct, as there is not too much risk involved. However, I would say the main emphasis here at this stage is not just to minimize risk, but to really get as much certainty to really understand what is the opportunity before then allocating lots of budget, money and persons for a dedicated project, where then we have the typical interdisciplinary team um, executing these activities. So, how do we know that we are done? How do we know that we are success successful? Well, in the new product development stage, we have milestone its achievement, one of the core ideas actually of the stage gate process. While at the front end of innovation, we actually never know that we are done. We just at one point have to say, now we believe we have a concept that is good enough to present it for further funding and to turn it into a real project. The PDMA, the Product Development Management Association, one of the largest associations of product developers um, in the world, calls the front end of innovation the perhaps greatest weakness of the innovation process. The greatest weakness? Well, as it's not really managed, as it's very fuzzy, as there are a lot of challenges in many companies. However, what you should remember is something that is called a great weakness can actually become a big strength of a company that is able to manage the front end. And this is why in the last decade or so, really much more emphasis was put both in practice and in research to really understand what is happening at the front end of innovation. Actually, a lot of the research in my group here at the university is dedicated to these activities. And one of the traditional challenges of the front end of innovation was that people said we have a lack of highly profitable ideas. So some emphasis was put onto more systematically really generating ideas, but before, hopefully you remember, before we generate ideas, we have to recognize opportunities. So also systematically to recognize opportunities and generate ideas and put those them somehow as the fertile um, base to generate um, concepts and later products. However, if we want to generate ideas and innovative concepts, we have to get an understanding where really highly profitable ideas come from. And this is also where we generated a lot of knowledge in the research community in the last years. As in the past, there were mainly anecdotal stories, people really telling that they dreamed something, that they somehow had this Eureka moment. But now actually, uh, um, we know, no, no, also this can be managed. It's not just this one brilliant individual working in an environment free of um, anxiety, but it is more really um, a systematic effort of many people generating um, ideas based on identifying opportunities. So the front end often has been perceived as mysterious. It's not accountable. We really don't know who's accountable for, who's responsible, as there is no project. 
we have documented best practices in some of the later stages, like idea generation or concept development, but very little on the opportunity recognition and, and trend analysis. However, at the same point, as I said, this is a little bit of view of the past. In companies with a good innovation process, I would say nowadays the front end of innovation is almost as good managed as the back end, the development stage of innovation. However, here another challenge derives. And you may know this from other lectures already as this, um, this challenge between exploration and exploitation. Front end of innovation activities by definition are more explorative. While development activities, well, they're not always exploitation, but they are more structured, more in the mood of exploitation. And even if we are just out for an incremental innovation, at the beginning, we really have to explore the stage. We have to explore a little bit the playing ground. And so also here, we have again this big um, challenge of innovation to balance between exploration and exploitation at the same time, in the same organization, perhaps even in the same team. So, before we go a little bit more into the activities of the front end of innovation process, one last word. You remember that I said at the beginning that often the front end of innovation is called the fuzzy front end, <coughs> as it comes with all these challenges. But hopefully after watching the next modules, you would say, no, no, it's not so fuzzy. We can clearly manage it and we don't have to put this term in front of it. So let's explore a little bit what is really happening in the front end of innovation.